In West Africa, Sierra Leone's Vice President Mohamed Julde Jalu has declared a nationwide curfew following a protest on Wednesday. This was as protesters called on the government to resolve the issue of economic hardship and the high cost of living in the country. In the early hours of Wednesday, protests hit several communities in the east end of Freetown and other major towns across the northern province of Sierra Leone. Aggrieved public members were protesting for the third day over worsening economic conditions in the country. The government has invoked the military to work alongside the police against the protesters after killing at least two policemen and unspecified citizens. Fellow citizens, you will recall that for the last several weeks, some self-serving Sierra Leoneans have intensified the call for violence and the forceful overthrow of the legitimate government of President Julius Madabio. Government has shown restraint in an effort to uphold the fundamental rights of citizens. However, these unscrupulous individuals have embarked on a violent and unauthorized protest which has led to the loss of lives of innocent Sierra Leoneans, including security personnel. These violations are unacceptable in all their forms. Consequently, government hereby declares a nationwide curfew with effect from today, Wednesday, 10th August 2022, commencing at 3 p.m. Sierra Leone Vice President uh, Day. Now, Abdul Malik Bangura, a public relations and media consultant, joins me now from Sierra Leone to unpack this latest development. Abdul Malik, many thanks for your time. Help us understand, if you will, the genesis of the protest and the issues fueling it. Um, good evening. Good evening, um, Africa. Good evening. Well, I... I, I I'm unable to hear you, Abdul Malik, but if you can hear me, and uh, if you can, I'll take that again quickly. Uh, we're looking at the situation in Sierra Leone uh, at the moment. Uh, we just saw the vice president uh, in that declaration of uh, a curfew in uh, parts of Sierra Leone. Help us understand uh, the uh, start or the cause of this protest. anyone that is organizing this protest this is basically has to do with um, the use of social media some Sierra Leoneans abroad in europe have been sending voice notes Please. on social media as well oh, as videos calling to... on Sierra... and just a few days ago the main opposition which is the all people's congress yeah, party you, and issued a statement distancing itself from any planned protest. Initially, on uh, Monday, the protest was supposed to take place for three days. On Monday, Wednesday, and of course yesterday on Tuesday. On Monday, there was a sit-down, but we found out that there was no violence across the city because it was a sit-down protest. Yesterday, protest um and um that has caused serious death across the country even as we are now the official the office of national security has not been able to give us a specified figure of the amount of civilians and as well as police officers that have been killed countrywide of course the protest is largely in the north and as well as in freetown which is um which is the, the the stronghold of the main opposition all people's congress party but we found out that the all people's congress party had distanced themselves from this protest that is why you find the, the police are finding it very difficult to trace any known organizer of this protest calls here yeah, because we don't know who are the organizers that's why the minister of information called them faceless miscreants that's how we refer to them because no one is coming forward to say that i'm the organizer of this protest 
But you see people out in the streets protesting. And um, according to the regional command from the police, information is just reaching us now that um, four police officers have been killed in, um, in Tagene and uh, Bombali districts, which are two of the districts in the north. Okay. And right. um, the civilian deaths have still not been confirmed. But what we know for sure is that a lot of civilians have been killed in the north and uh, west and area. I think one of the major reasons why we have not been able to trace this was the early institution of curfew. Curfew was instituted at 3 p.m. today. So everyone was indoor. So journalists, everyone could not go out to verify some of the information. We hope by tomorrow morning we'll be able to ascertain the exact figure of, um, uh, of um, the people that may have died of today's um, protest. But according to the Inspector General of Police, Well, I'm, I'm, I'm to Malik. AM daily until further notice. Well, Abdul Malik, uh, well, apologies. Uh, there's been, uh, been a, a glitch in off and on at sometimes uh, losing the connection. But quickly, if you can hear me before I let you go, the vice president has declared uh, a nationwide curfew. But given the state of things, listening to your uh, analysis from the, the beta I could get, how effective uh, would it be in bringing uh, normalcy back? Well, ever since the vice president declared a state of emergency, some lawyers have started condemning that action. They said that according to the law of Sierra Leone, no, um, I think we need to make it clear. The vice president does not declare a state of emergency. He declared a, na a national curfew. Some lawyers are arguing that you cannot declare a national curfew if we are not, not in a state of emergency. And state of emergency is not just announced like that. A state of emergency goes through the parliament, and parliament shall have to convey and approve a state of emergency. But as it is now, because of this is an extraordinary period, so I believe they are taking extraordinary measures. But on the area of efficiency, the problem we have is that government does not even have people who are to negotiate because there are no leaders for this protest. So it is a matter of who will come forward to discuss some of the terms and conditions of these protesters. There are no one, nobody is coming forward to say that I am the organizer or I am going in support of these protesters or I am representing these protesters. No one is coming forward. So it is basically a difficult situation because I don't know who government is going to sit to negotiate with going forward. That's well, the situation well, we have uh, 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 Abdul Malik uh, Bangura, uh, many thanks for your time.